Well, good evening from the football hotbed that is Merseyside. We find ourselves tonight at Goodison Park. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Everton up against West Ham United. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Luca Digne plays with Seamus Coleman in the fullback positions. Alan starts alongside Abdoulaye Ducouré in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. And so the match is underway. Long way at this. Couldn't grab hold of it. It's a corner. Now the delivery. But he took care of it defensively. Good pass. Richarlison. Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. Jared Bowen Ben Rama ball with Pablo Fornals Fornals interception to snuff out the danger well you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch Stewart in particular what to see from him well, Derek, we know he's a good all-round finisher, but I think his greatest attribute is his heading ability. He seems to hang in the air, he's got great technique when the ball comes onto his head, and he usually hits the target. That's his greatest skill. And we saw the situation developing. Declan Rice. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Rice with it. Antonio. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Alan. And West Ham have possession again. And a creative look about this. Ben Rama. It might be on for them. Antonio, Rice, now will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Rice, oh, off the post, still alive. 
Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Well, they so nearly took the lead there. They just have to keep creating these opportunities and I'm sure the goal will come. Gray. And now Dominic Carvert-Lewin. Might really be able to trouble them here. And a long way out. Body on the line. Good physical play. Suchek. Ben Rama racing forward, trying to catch them out. Declan Rice, promising looking attack from West Ham, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Calvert Lewin getting forward. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. The match has restarted. 1 0 here. Suchek. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. Dukure. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And so it is. The first half story has been written. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So they get the ball rolling once more and it's advantage Everton after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. Gray. And here's Alan. Moving the ball effectively. Alan. On the ball, Richarlison. High quality defending. Said Ben Rama. Declan Rice. Ben Rama. Antonio. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. Substitution time it is. And he steered it wide of the post. Well, he's just overdone it. That's a really poor penalty. Holding the ball up here, waiting for others to arrive. And the pass not finding its target. Ducure. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Superb block. Richarlison. And taken away. 
And 30 minutes left for play in this match. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. But they took care of the situation defensively. Alan. A fine use of the ball. Gray. Ducouré. Antonio Good looking sequence But ultimately up a cul-de-sac Well it's come down to the final 20 minutes here Look at Dinia Everton showing good wit Calvert-Lewin Ducouré Townsend and here's Coleman Gray Alain Richarlison clean challenge Suchek but in the closing phase here, and it's Everton's to lose. Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game, but if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well, and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Ducouré. Gray now. Calvert-Lewin Everton moving the ball forwards what can they do from here Calvert-Lewin and danger still well it came to nothing in the end well that was a good save and it's kept them in it but they have to do more going forward Declan Rice on the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Antonio! Oh, denied him brilliantly. Well, that would have wrapped it up, wouldn't it? What a brilliant save that is. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And over comes the corner. It hasn't come to very much. He has time to play it over. Jared Bowen. Antonio. And now it is final as the lows, the whistle, and Everton get maximum points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Yeah, he gave those defenders a difficult time. He got the all-important goal and created plenty of chances too. He certainly deserves the plaudits for his efforts today.